and welcome back to Caravan Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well and you're enjoying the freedom of getting out in your caravan, motorhome, camper van, whatever it may be. Certainly for us, it's great to be out there. So quick vlog for you today. All I want to do is run through the basic operations on the Truma um, heating panel. So if we go ground and we'll take a look at that, I'll swap to the other side of the camera and we can see how we can get on. Go. Okay, what you basically need to do with this thing first is press the button. Now, the first thing I always do is swap, rotate it till we get to the clock, press the OK, and as you can see here, you can adjust your time accordingly. So for us, we always use that as the clock for glancing. So if we now if we scroll back to the camper van, this is where you set the temperature of inside the caravan, motorhome, that sort of stuff. So if we press that again, it's currently to off. So if we rotate this up, we'll get to say about 20 degrees, so we can set that at 20 degrees. So that's now set to 20 degrees. We've now got the option for setting the water temperature. So at the moment that's off, so or the water heating, so you've got off, eco, so that will heat the water in the background, hot, um, and then boost. If you have it on boost, it, so it diverts all the power away from the heating. So the heating will turn itself off while the hot water is switched on, or hot water is on boost, sorry. So you've got hot and eco. Invariably, when we get on site, we put it on to boost, then swap it back to hot, and then during the evening, put it back to eco. So if we put that on eco for the moment. Now we've then got where you've got the gas bottle and the electric sign. We're on electric hookup, as you can see from here. You've got several different options. You've got electric two, which is two electric heating elements, which I believe is 2000 watts, but I'll check that and let you know. You've got electric one, which is one heating element, um, which is 1000 watts. You've got mix two, so that's two heating elements and maximum gas. Mix one, one heating element and maximum gas or just gas. Now, if you do want to get the caravan um, warm quickly and get the water quickly, what I would suggest is that you go for mix two. But invariably once we're there, we keep it on elect one or elect two. You've then got your fan control, so your blown air system. So you've got eco, high. So with eco, um, is basically just blowing in the background and then high is higher on your van. So that really is just a basic operation of the INET or sorry the Truma heating control panel. So if we scroll through as well you've got the timer here we never use the timer um, we vary we keep the heating on we just turn it up and down but like any normal timer you can set your start and your top times with the timer and your heating will come on, come on and off accordingly. Um, so that's about it really. You invariably can get some error messages come up if something's not gone right or something's not wrong. Either check the manual or Google or YouTube it and invariably you'll find a solution in there. So that's the basic operation of the Truma panel. So there's another one from Caravan Escapades. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't. Certainly drop in your comments below. We certainly love to read your comments uh, and we'll reply to every one of them. So your support is very, very much appreciated. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel and click on the bell notification icon so you get notified when we upload new content. So goodbye from us at Caravan Escapades and we shall see you on the next one. Take care.